Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and a Darcy. And some hidden cats. Hidden cats? Here's one. I'm not hiding, I'm just no. small. He's floppy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you lay down. <laughs> Very, uh... I wiggled him around like a, like a uh, ferret. That's it. He's like, yes. like a ferret. Long-bodied yes. ferret. He's floppy. <laughs> Today, we're going to be playing... Some 2600 games. We're actually doing a special show. We're going to be playing uh, ZPH Favorites, part two of Favorite Platformers oh. for the Atari 2600. Four of them. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Tower of Rubble by Dianoid, Blinky Goes Up by Jan Hermans, uh, Stay Frosty 2 by Daryl Spice Jr., Spiceware. And Hunchy 2 by CD-W, Chris Walton. In the first one, first episode of Favorites, we played uh, Man Goes Down, so good, uh, Tumble Temple, Gingerbread Man, and Stay Frosty. Sid got his own icon, he did. He did. I did it just before the show. Yes, twice. Twice, yeah. The first one was not so good. It was a picture of him laying down, so his face, he looked kind of mad. This one, he looks kind of perturbed, maybe. He's crazy, like, but alert. not angry. Yeah, he's, he's not angry. He's not an angry cat at all. Missed a new cat. Should I hold him up again? Yes. <laughs> Here's the new kitty. Hello. He's a long cat. Long-bodied cat. And, he, and he's very... And he's patient. Very patient. Just not Do anything you want. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> super cute, too. It's Sid, named after... Um, Sid Vicious. No, he's named after... <laughs> The Commodore 64 sound chip. He is very talkative. Not not in a while. He hasn't talked to you, has he? Just just when there's something to say. Yep. He yep. just didn't have anything to say. Like like one time he was like meow, and then a minute later <laughs> the machine popped out food, and so he's uh, his actually timekeeping is quite good. Oh yeah, he's he's got a good internal clock. Yep. Um. But before we get into the games, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are gently. Moving up beside Darcy, right there. Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Arms Guard, Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Matt, Atari's Maximus, B.R. Polka, Bruno Stack, Captain Costa, Charles Donnell, Charles Will, Chitla, Sierra Rebo, Danny VC, Dr. Mukaz, Dr. Webstore, Gamma Dev, Great Defender, Aldo, Geraldo, Jewish, it's Kev, JG, KSPS, PSX, Johnny WC, Carl G, Carehack, Croco 2600, Veltifer, Lambda Express, Lord Ton, Mandy 17, Mark, Anis, Mark Spacing, Mental Atari, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Thelm, Miss Command, and Mr. Lou, Ms. MK Smith, Mr. Fun, Fix, Mr. Fun, Sure, Mr. Fun, Muddy Funster, uh, New Media, Nostalgic, Patapol. Yeah, he doesn't like that as much. <laughs> He's not as forgiving, not as, forgiving. as the new cat. He's like, ugh. Sorry, I ears. interrupted your list. I'm He's the upset. Worst. Uh, that's okay. Patapolis, uh, Pseudographus, Koag, Gar Antroids, Red Ghost, Repentless, Feed You, Revan, Tuli, Cardo Pim, Six Sweets, Medi B, Spice, Wear, Spinley, Esmer, Steve C, Text, Rich, Tiki Dan K, Tifos, Trek MD, Tweeny, Vex, Rx, Big VG, Double Down, X Connect, Zombie Alice, and just before the show, somebody named Drexel resubscribed. Thank, thank you, Drexel, for subscribing. And you can too if you want to support these little tiny kitties and support the show. Just hit subscribe on Twitch, or if you just want to know when we're on, just hit follow, or you can just uh, yeah subscribe on YouTube if you're watching later on YouTube. Is gone but not forgotten. Yeah, Sprite's icon, I replaced it with this kitty's icon. There's only so many spots, actually, so I have to do something. Uh, he has been with us for two and a half weeks, something like that. We got him on a Sunday... Maybe two weeks? Warning! Warning! <gasps> the tree ball oh! Is loose. The, tree ball is loose. the tree ball is loose! The tree ball's loose! Oh, get out to the combat arena! I have a combat arena here. Now, should we get two treat balls? I think you should. Yeah, one for each cat. How about that? Well, now, one for each cat and also one for each kitten. One for each cat and one for each kitten. That's yes. true. Yeah. Because otherwise uh, we'd only have one. Darcy was saying uh, to Atari, you're the best cat in the house. Uh, but then he also followed up with, Sid, you're the best kitten. And That's right. That is true. So maybe uh, seven each. Oh, my God. The cat just jumped into the box prematurely. Here, I'll give you that one. Okay. So Keep I can it out guard of the, way. the 
Oh my god, keep that box steady. The cat is in the box. Oh, kittens. You're out of control. You're out of control. Okay, wait for it. Are you going to lower the box with the kitten in it? That would be adorable. This is what's happening for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Darcy it. has determined that uh, this cat is Danger Cat. Yeah, action Cat. Action Cat. Action Cat. That's what we needed, some lawn mowing. Okay, we're because he just here. rushes into things without thinking about the consequences whatsoever. And he's not sneaky. He's very direct. Just like, like when I put boom. up a toy, I went like this. He was way across from him. And he sprinted at top kitten speed. Like, I was a little scared. And just, like, attacked it. Like, there was no sneaking. No, I'm going to stalk you. He was just like, I'm going to come and kill you right now. Yeah, he does not think about consequences <laughs> yeah. at all. It's do first, think later. And weirdly gentle like he oh yeah he will bite me but it never hurts and it never lasts very long okay cats are you ready to play combat kitty combat go oh, atari will defer no he'll just jump right out if he's feels you're invited to play he's like i'm thinking about it okay oh yeah. oh i found one so i'm, I'm good <laughs> i now. will stay <laughs> sid has done the uh treat ball before He's he's a little stunned at how it works, but he has pushed it around. Yeah, see, he's pushing it. He needs to... Oh, yeah. Did he get one? He really needs to push it and get one. Oh, he's pushing it. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, got he's got it. it. He's got it. He's got it. Yes, Chelsea Mount in time for some cat action. There we go. Yeah, he has got it. Come on. Push, 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 push. Needs to be reinforced. Atari's in like full like adult cat mode. It's like, like I'll let the kitten. Have normally, his when thing. the food comes out, he's like, "I must eat all of the food. The food oh, must yeah. survive." But now he just sits there and lets the kitten eat all of the food. All of it. All like of you it. You were talking about this morning. This morning, Sid they, ate all the food, and Atari just sat over there. We have an automatic dispenser yeah. for dry food in the morning because yeah. it's easier. We don't have to get up at seven thirty, and there's no meowy cats at the door anymore. Yeah. Um, and it dispenses an appropriate amount of food, like three times, four times. Three times. Like three I, times. I, I witnessed three. That's all I can say. Um, enough for the two cats. Yeah. And you said this morning. Yeah. So how did it go? The first the time, Sid ate everything except one kibble. And Atari came over. Is there any there? It's like one kibble. No. <laughs> and I ate it. And I was like, oh, poor Atari. And then it dumped more food again, which I did not know was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Sid runs over. He's like, oh, food. And then he's like. He ate, I guess he ate like a kibble or two, and he's like, ah, I'm fine. Yeah. And then Atari ate. The rest and then they it. both ate the third one. Right. But so like, quite even. But Sid ate first. Yes. Yeah. And Atari will Atari let waited. Sid yeah. do whatever he wants first for food. For food. For food. Yeah. But he's uh, not so patient with playing. No, he'll hiss when he's done. 100%. He'd be like, no, nope, we're done. It's over. Yep. How are we doing? Come on, Atari. You got to get some. I'll put one outside. For there you me. go. That's a good idea. There yeah. You there you go. Nom 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 there nom. You go. Make oh, he's, he's on screen a little bit. And of course, Sid, watch what will happen. Oh, you've got a thing. It, is it my thing now? I oh, know. He steals the treat immediately. And then Atari is going to walk out of the room because he's like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's off camera anything now. Left in there. Oh, is it done? Yeah. Yeah, this one's done. You can hop in there. Yep. That other one might be. And yeah. nope. So patient and polite with the little kitten. It's adorable and really nice, but he misses out a lot. Are you done both? Oh, you're done both. Okay, it's over. Uh, but it's over. Here, I'm gonna. No, they don't need more. They'll well, get... he didn't get any. Oh, Atari. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness there you go that's if you could put away that box when you're done okay so i have oh thank you happy affiliate anniversary thank you zeptari mine gamma dev yeah that's his whole thing mine mine he has no no manners whatsoever little kittens need lots of treats to grow big and strong atari knows that uh, that might be true we're trying to figure out whether um Sid is going to be a long cat because he's pretty lean right now. Like, he's super lean cat. So I think he's going to maintain his leanness. 
and just grow really long and big because he's he has pretty big paws and pretty big ears like his ears are almost the same size as atari's ears so i think he's gonna grow up pretty big so i have a special unboxing to do today i'll wait till darcy's back in the room to start that now I'm going to do a fake unboxing because I already unboxed it <laughs> um, because I had to do some things, but I'm going to still, I put it back in the box. Are you going to help out, Sid? Can help out? Nope. Okay. So make sure I'm not showing it addresses. Nope. So here's the, here's the box. Oh no, they know who delivered it. <laughs> FedEx, oh no. It, we're, in a, we're in a place in the planet that has FedEx. It, um... Yes. Okay, it's something that I've been uh, looking at for a very long time. I thought it's a very interesting system. Um, it also looks very nice, in my opinion. So I've been uh, watching and monitoring uh, eBay for a while for it. It's a re-unboxing. Yes, yes. I can kind of fake seal it up. There we go. I've, I've faked it. Yeah, you want to help? He, he just wants the packaging, I think. So let's open this up. And it is a ZX Spectrum Plus 128. And I'm letting Darcy hold it against my better judgment because it is precious <gasps> to me. <gasps> it is the. Because he uh, will do dumb jokes like that. Yes. And then accidentally no. really drop it. No, I held on it real tight. It is the toast rack version, given the name for this side uh, heat sink. Because that's where you put your toast. That's where you put tiny little slices yes. of Melba toast, because that's the only thing that'll fit in there. <laughs> really thin toast. No rubber keys. Yeah, this is the last uh, Sinclair version of it before it was uh, handed over to Amstrad. Mm. Was it? Mm. Okay. Darcy knows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is one of the most sought after ZX Spectrums because it has, thank you, uh, because it has RGB out on it uh, and it has nice keys on it. Yeah, real keys. And it has 128K of RAM as well. Yeah, it is really, really nice. RGB, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I bought it off of eBay for a steal, like literally a steal. It, was so cheap about two hundred dollars off regular price um which is about six forty percent off yeah forty percent off regular price no. yeah, yeah 40 yeah, i think we yeah, calculated forty yeah, yeah, percent off about, yeah. um so i was watching an auction on ebay and it was it was it looked like very good condition even though he said three out of five i'm like eh, that's at least four out of five if not four and a half out of five condition um and i didn't bid on it because it was higher before, and but I was watching it, and then the person relisted it for like a hundred dollars off, and I was like, buy immediately, mm -hmm. right now, and it was listed as keys not working, like the keyboard not working, but I know because I've been studying these to yeah, yeah. to know about them. That is like a standard standard failure on almost every single one of these, is the keyboard fails because it's a very delicate membrane mm. inside of it so i was like oh i know how much a membrane costs so yeah. you just factor that in and i've looked at videos and it's not that hard to, and, to replace and you the knew that if you got one where the keyboard hadn't failed it soon would and you would need to buy it anyway so i would have bought it anyways yes unless it said membrane replaced and then i wouldn't have to do it um so it was listed as powering on and they showed a, a picture of the the video and i and i could see they were using rgb out because it was quite crisp um, so at the same time I bought this, I bought a keyboard membrane. Mm -hmm. um, I bought an RGB cable because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah, yeah. Because it does have RF out, but, but that's you don't, PAL you RF don't have out. That. And I have nothing to hook up the PAL to PAL RF. RF out. I have VCRs, which I normally use, but they would just go, what's this? What Scramble and output garbage yeah, yeah. in NTSC. It would yeah. translate to NTSC. But in RGB, it it isn't PAL or NTSC, it's RGB? Uh, it, is, it is PAL. 
But it goes to one of your upscalers, uh, upscalers and it can understand it. Okay. Yes, exactly. So I knew that. And I bought a power supply. Uh, 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 can you get him down from there? Never mind. <laughs> he got himself down. I got him down by looking at him. Sternly. He could feel he could feel it. He was being judged. He didn't like it. Um, so I bought all those three things so I could power it up and replace the key mem keyboard membrane and have a fully functional computer, mm -hmm. right? As far as it was listed for. And then I could see, oh, is there anything else that's wrong with it? And then buy stuff from there. Um, so and, I... And nothing else was wrong with it? It didn't list anything else wrong with it, but all he did was power it up and he couldn't type, he couldn't load anything, yeah. supposedly, right? Yeah. Because you need the keyboard. You need the keyboard to load, yeah. Not necessarily. If he had... Um, a cartridge an something. SD cartridge with a yeah. joystick. You could use the joystick to navigate yeah, and yeah. Loads, load stuff. But Zeptari says, I'm not a Sinclair guy, but that's freaking beauty. I'm not a Sinclair guy either. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just drawn to this system. And yeah, and yeah. Uh, this particular <clears throat> one and Sinclair games as well. It has a it, huge homebrew um, Yeah, I was just going to say, but it doesn't huge. have... It, it doesn't have, like, a lot of commercially made games. It's, like... Massive it? amount. 5,000. No? Commercially made? Yes. Oh, wow. It is a huge... Huh? It's it's huge in, in the UK. And are they cartridges or all, like... No, like tape. Tape, okay. Um, tape was the thing in um, Europe. Yeah. Uh, it was cheap. Had a huge piracy scene because <laughs> it was yeah, a tape. Yeah. Yeah. Tapes were a little bit here, but it was mostly floppies. Because you loaded off tape, tape right? I had tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you you copy like, tapes and you'd have like the ninety minute long play, one hundred and twenty minute long <laughs> yeah. play. Uh, Pack them in, and it would just be this. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a we'll do a spectrum day. And up, it was it was uh, stuff. it was program roulette. Does this one work? Does <laughs> yes. this one work? Does this one work? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so this arrived. It looked awesome. It was dirty. Um, the power supply arrived, the RGB cable arrived, the membrane arrived all in the same day. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, that's crazy, because some were coming from... They were all coming from different places. Um, so I Nine. first looked at the power supply on it, and what it needs is a 9-volt, mm -hmm. um, 2-amp, just to give it enough power. You mm -hmm. can do 1.5, but 2 to cover everything, sure, especially yeah. if you're getting some SD... How long will it run off a 9-volt battery? <laughs> uh, Perhaps you could do that experiment to possibly. find out. Possibly. <laughs> and it needs a center uh, center negative um, to run. And I bought a center negative off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. And it arrived. And the box said center negative. And I opened it up. And the plug said center positive. I'm like, oh my god, I'm glad I didn't plug this in. Yeah. And, and I tested it with my multimeter, and I learned how to test, figure out whether his center is negative or positive. And the center was positive, so I could not use it. And I was like, oh my god, now I can't power it? I've got all this stuff, and I can't test it, and I'll have to buy another one. Um, Does you have an adapter for your... No, to I flip it? an adapter, no. no. Um, unfortunately. So I went through my bag. Did you of, go through the box to make sure there wasn't one in the power <laughs> supply box? It was the box. It was this big. Oh, okay. Super, yeah, yeah. super tiny. Yeah. And so did I, you give them one star? Yes, I did. You had one job. Yes. You had and one to, job. to package the right plug in the yeah, right box. Because yeah. I assume somewhere in their warehouse, they've got a, they have a center negative because they have center negative, negative boxes. Or they're all center positive and they don't care. They'll just <laughs> yeah. change their name when they get enough <laughs> bad <laughs> reviews. <laughs> yeah. Five stars, cat visible. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, cat visible. Um, so I went through my uh, bag of adapters because I just have a random bag of adapters. Um, most of them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pliable cat. Hello. Oh, adorable Hello. fuzzy cat. Oh, adorable. It is Isn't this he adorable? Long. He it is, is this, this long, long at this moment. And this floppy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, you were zero saying stars, adapter. zero dogs as well. Um, <laughs> so I went through my bag of adapters. Most of them were center positive of the nine volts. There was like two that were center negatives, but they were like vastly underpowered for what this needed. Oh, I see. Yeah, not yeah. even the minimum to run this. Yeah, yeah. They were like 300 milliamps. Oh, yeah. Like not even close. It's so limp. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um, 
then I was like, oh, I'm going to have to order one. This sucks. And then I went, wait a second. I didn't look through my consoles. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I was, I was going to say, I know that I have at least one 9-volt uh, adapter, but I don't know if it's center positive. Yeah. Yeah. So. Center negative. I don't know which it is. is yeah. It's the gist of what I'm saying. Mostly center positive. Yeah. Um, so I went through my consoles, and this is the bag the original one came in. I already sent it back for a refund, which they gave me. Um, and this, this adapter right here, Atari Jaguar, is center negative. Ah. Nine volts with the right size end. And, and it is chunkin, just uh... enough. It is chunking, that's for sure. I mean, it's chunking for a plug in the wall, but I guess it's, I've seen bigger bricks. And it's yeah, 1.2 yeah. amp, which is enough to run the bare bones. It's, it's more than enough, but it'll be on the edge to run. Um, I have a multi-power adapter, which is switchable off almost anything. I have ordered that now. <laughs> so I ordered a center negative and a multi-power adapter because I might run into that again. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, I don't have the right power adapter for this. The jag comes through. <laughs> um, so let's plug this in. Get this almost ready. Don't attack that. Um, so I ordered a membrane as well. And um, this is what the membranes look like. This is a broken membrane because this is the one I took out of it. Ah. Um, and I can't find like the break anywhere, but somewhere either one or this one or this one is broken because one does the rows and one does the columns and they do a matrix um, to figure out what key you're pressing um, so that is broken you found it I don't know it's those it's kinda, like dark oh yeah it could be like, corrosion and this is where the this is where the harshest like I feel the, the harshest bend yeah the other one is up here but those it's not good. so bad up here yeah yeah, wonder if it's those two. It might be corrosion. Could be along the edge there. Yeah, I don't know how corrosion would get into the elbow. I don't know. And then also, um, this is the uh, RGB adapter ah. for it. And the on the back on the plug, um, on the back of the ZX Spectrum uh, the for the RGB is built into it. No sound. Oh. But it has an in and an out sound. So you combine okay. it, and it, ah. and then there are pins for right, audio right. left and right for this. So you just plug it it in. Oh, because you plug it into where the cassette deck would, uh, yeah. Uh, no, the opposite, not where the cassette deck would go in. Uh, okay. Where yes, you plug right. speakers into or headphones into. So let's get this set up where the cat is. And actually, I want to get it set up a little bit here. And uh, I'll tell you a story about these in a little bit <laughs> and where you plug them into the side because I am not a ZX Spectrum person. So I don't know. All nope. Nope. Psst. Nope. Not for cats. Not for cats. Nope. Let's plug this in to the scart. Nope. <laughs> And Where's nope. the port where you plug in your tea kettle? <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Where's the cup holder? Psst, 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 psst. No, that's the... No! Bad cats. Yeah, I feel like he's not a chew-through-cables cat, but no. I wouldn't want to find out. He's just like, I want to play with this thing. Yeah. I don't know how I'm playing, but I'm going to play. So let's plug it in, and I'll continue my story this one and there is no power switch on zx spectrums ah you, you just plug, plug it in. in and it goes and i have on order an inline switch hmm. but you just plug it in and it turns on can you not do that you go over here please <laughs> and you guys can see it is on your screen so little my TV so is freaking out because it's stupid. <laughs> and I think I need a new TV or something. There we go! ZX Spectrum! Now, obviously there are some things that need fixing. There are um, some lines on the screen, which is a common issue. 
that uh, needs fixing. Those are called jail bars because ah. they're vertical. Um, so, and uh, so the system worked. I replaced the membrane. The keys work. And do you you need to still get a cartridge that does that? Uh, SD cards? Yeah, that okay. is on order. I ordered that at the same time as well because I knew I would uh, need it and want it. So I got a um, Div MMC Future, which is the, the best one, does the most stuff. Um, so what <clears throat> you can do, what I can do in the meantime, is there are tape emulators that you can load onto your phone that will play the sound. <laughs> Don't please. That will play the sound of the tape. You're the, right. the data on the tape, right? Ah, that's pretty cool. So there are two. I couldn't get it to work at first because there's two inputs on the Sinclair, on the ZX Spectre. Right. One is called mic, and one is called ear. Now, which one would you think you would use to plug that would take input? The you... opposite of what they, you would think. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, what they did, because this is like people's... Yeah, Stella's got, got a new, brand new brain. It's exactly the same thing for the 2600. Um, because back then, this is probably people's first computer. So they are thinking, oh, let's label it with the labels on the tape player. So... On the ear, on the tape player, where you would listen to, oh, we would label it the same. They label it as though it was red and green. Put red to red and green yes. to green, as opposed to mic to mic, yeah. ear to ear. Yeah, yeah. But but, but me, but, but on your on this stupid. system, it means the opposite. No, <laughs> yeah, it's that you're not allowed to do any pre-processing. You have to. Yeah. So that to just, took me yeah. forever, because right down here there's a tape tester. You go down to it. And you have to get that that um, little blue thing going up to the top. Which it is not doing right now. Anyway. So let's... <laughs> what is the major malfunction? Can you is it not... Uh, you not can't. He can't. He can't not. Be He's a cat. Kitten. He's just doing. Th it's changing colors. Isn't that different than what it was doing? What does it normally do? Do you hear the the sound? Yeah, you hear the sound. <laughs> Come here, kitten. Of course, it could be quiet. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, I think that means naughty. something, Ken. I think that means it's loading. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Oh, don't bite me. You're going to get me in trouble. So it took me uh, forever to figure out that swap because I was about to order uh, a replacement mm. for, the, for the headphones and the ear jack and all of that. They drive on the wrong side. What do you expect? <laughs> there you go. That's a... Very good uh, explanation. No, no micro drive. So I'll be getting a um, a cartridge that emulates a micro drive with an SD card. And look at this. A very familiar game. This has been ported to the 7800 and we just played it last show for the Atari 8-bit. And this one says ZX. Yes. So this is the original. Oh. This is the one okay. that those are ported from. So it was originally made on the ZX Spectrum. ZX Spectrum has a huge homebrew scene. So I thought, oh, this is perfect. It's a cool looking computer. Um, it's got RGB out. It's got a huge homebrew scene. Um, so the way, w what's unique, uh, audio equivalent of a null modem cable. Yep, good old tape loader screens. So what is... Um, I've never seen a... C64 program load and have the screen like In indicate it's loading show like i've never seen had like a title screen show up as it's getting the data before it's always like loading 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 oh it's loaded now we'll run the program oh, yeah 
That is interesting. Is it still loading, or is this the... Still loading. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you hear that noise, still loading. Oh, no, but it's like when you have a cassette tape, and you are loading multiple... And you, you uh -oh. are loading, like the tape keeps playing, and it will play the noise <laughs> even when the computer's finished uh -oh. loading that program. Well, this is off a of phone, mm -hmm. so it is only playing one. Just that one, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's Eve from Wally. Yeah. Yeah, some C64 tape loaders did that. They did multiple passes and loaded pieces of it, but I never had a tape player for C64, and uh, you had a disk drive as well, so we never saw that. We never loaded any yeah, tape versions. Yeah, I only versions. had it on the Trash 80. Yeah. Yeah. It was a PAL versus NTSC. Okay, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, the graphics on this system are very cool and unique. It has the memory for every pixel on the screen. Uh, um, enough RAM for every pixel. But its color memory is 8x8 eight eight mm. tiles. So you can see kind of stripes there yeah. and everything's kind of squared off. Yeah, for colors. Those are 8x8 yeah. eight eight squares. Right. So if you plan your game well... Nope. <laughs> so if you plan your game well and you section your whole game off as 8x8 eight eight squares and you have, oh, this is colored this, this is colored this, my character is an eight pixel character, it's all colored this, then um, you can, it'll look nice. But if you have two things on top of each other, it's gonna be one color, so you have to pick right, what right. color that is. This is uh, another 30 seconds. I just wanted to load one thing. Yeah, you can see in the S and robots, there's the green. Yes. But it has two colors going on there, so what is that That's, all about? A mistake for sure but how is it because it's it's showing oh, there's a background color and a foreground. okay color there you go and you so the green uh you can see wherever there's green instead of red the foreground color is pink what is uh, is that do they affect each other the two colors i don't know enough or is about that, that just okay and uh it only has eight colors oh. on the <laughs> zx spectrum plus another eight of brighter of the same color so it's a little bit worse than the C64 in terms of color. And they're all bright, garish things. Oh, okay. Yes, I remember this one. Uh, the other cool thing about this one and the upgrade, why I got this one as well. So this is homebrew for... ZX Spectrum. For the Spectrum from 2018. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it has a very good sound chip in it, too. Equivalent, like on the same level as Pokey and Sid. Pokey for Atari, Sid for C64. This has a uh, Yamaha AY chip in it, three voices. And this game is using using that uh, sound chip. And it also has a beeper in it as well. <laughs> um, so you have a fourth sound, yeah. No sprites, no. It's all just bitmap. So you, I'm guessing you would keep um, a layer of the background in memory and then you would overlay that each time you wanted animation you would put your sprite in that spot and then erase it and put it in the new spot that kind of thing so really good sound like the music you know there's background uh, yep. hi-hats going on and you hear that, D -d 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 -d. that's the PC speaker equivalent, uh, and it's much louder than the music, and yeah. there's a fix for that. So there's, now I have to do all the fixes, the recapping, the fix for that, the jail bar fix, there's a bunch of other things. And those are hardware fixes? They're mostly capacitors and resistors uh, that you have to put in, so hardware fixes, yeah. So it's the software sprites will affect background. Yeah, no sprites at all. Looks like most of the time we'll be watching a loader on this game. Yeah. Oh no, only at 10 minutes today. Well, we're all done this. Um, so I just wanted to show that off and uh, show how uh, cool it is. So we'll have a Spectrum day in the future. Once I get my loader, I'll, we'll look at some some very cool we'll some homebrew, modern yeah. homebrew. Yeah. And to turn it off, you unplug it, <laughs> which is so weird to me, just to unplug. Yep. Yeah, it's very disconcerting, in fact. I mean, it's not... I don't know 
like unplugging is not necessarily worse than a switch because you have to go well how good is the switch <laughs> you're just cutting power yeah. right but you there is there there are switches that are vastly better than turn than unplugging something because there's no chance for arcing and all that yes. stuff but i don't know for instance it's like click switch is right? the uh is the 2600 switch better than unplugging i don't know no, it, i don't think it, so maybe maybe <laughs> so let's get this out of the way my beauty and oh uh, i have a question yes so is the ZX, what is it similar to? What era, what would you compare it to? You the, Commodore the 64 and the Atari 8-bit line okay. of computers. Because okay. they also had a line, well, Commodore 64 had like one. <laughs> and it lasted forever. Well, they, you mean, yeah, okay. It had a 128, but nobody and used the, the 128. 20, oh, and yeah, okay, Vic 20, yeah, yeah, that's true. Sorry. Yeah, started 1982, Thrust said. Um, gotcha. And, and that's right so around started, the Commodore, Kim, Commodore 64 time. Yeah, Vic 20. Vic 20 Vic, did Vic 64. 20 come out before the Commodore 64? Yeah. yeah. But not vastly before. I don't think so. I don't think yeah. it lasted super long because computers are advancing so quick with memory. People mm -hmm. are like, yeah, we need 32. We need 64 now. Yeah. Oh, we need 128 now. Um, and I think the ZX Spectrum had about as many releases as the Atari 8-bit line. Because the Atari 8-bit line had tons of different variations like 400 800 600 uh, sorry yeah 600 xl 800 xl 1200 just had lots of iterations um so let's see yeah i have to do jail bar fix unrain fix unrained fix because there's little sparklies that happen uh. on some games a composite mod so that it's useful the rf in case there's something wrong with the rgb i can still troubleshoot oh i see um, so you can do a, a non-destructive composite This particular mod. one that you're talking about, it sounds like you just want to do all the mods. <laughs> it doesn't seem like, like, this doesn't seem very likely. Oh, well, what if I want to use RF? It, no, it's <laughs> very unlikely. But what would you plug it into? It, it's PAL. Like, I thought you said oh, that, that I can would... still upscale composite PAL. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just can't <laughs> upscale RF because I have no RF. I'd have to get a, a British VCR. Mm. Or a British uh, box, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 1980 Vic 20 C64 1982. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. yeah, same time the ZX. Yeah, because um, I just like I had a, a friend who had a Vic 20, and I feel like it was not top of the line when it came out. Type. I mean, like he didn't he didn't oh. get it. You know. Anyways. Yeah, it's only two years between... And we ran it on a black and white television that I scav sav scavenged from... Uh, <laughs> you know sometimes scavenged. people will put their garbage on the street? Yeah, I picked one of those. <laughs> hey, TV's a TV. It was like... Yeah, it works. Yeah, it was crazy. And it's not like a sofa where there's... You had to bang be... it to get the... <laughs> like Percussive maintenance. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, <laughs> when you... The, when the TV would do this, when you banged it, it would... Boom, That's it would like, go back up dry solder and you can you can or... get those fixed i had a tv in the mid 90s that i actually got fixed i called a repair guy and he was like yeah we can fix that it's this thing cats did you smack it and it and it and it fixed it <laughs> yep oh that's this oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, they were memory upgrades for the vic 20 ah. yeah. but were there games did it to, made did it turn it upgrades? into like a commodore 64 like i don't know yeah how much did it add maybe it went to 48 like how different were they you know like but they, you also had to have to have software on the surface they looked that. they looked similar but. and most game companies would not make software for the handful of people who manually upgraded their vic 20s for more ram so that's the problem with getting those But upgrades. also at the time when you bought a computer you were not necessarily buying it for the software someone else would develop like, like yeah. one of the things with the Trash 80 was that it, like a TSR 80, I don't know if the color computer counted, Cocoa. but the, the <laughs> TSR 80 was good for like programming. It was good for programming, but not necessarily for right. software. <laughs> right. Yeah. Good for, yeah, fiddling around with Ultimo's on the VIC, super wicked rare release. Oh, wow. Ultimo was released on the VIC? Ultimo 1? Or 2 or 3? Okay, on with the show. Um, 
so uh, there was also an update to uh, quite a substantial update to Andrew Davies' uh, Sentinel game, and I want to show you this because it is absolutely astounding. Now, this is on a Commodore 64. You can plug a cartridge into it, and it can output this. Let me show you what he has done, and I will explain it to you. Look at that. 3D rotating with horizontally scrolling background. Um, this code can display in four different resolutions. ICC 1, 2, 3, CC. The What's the center one? That's the highest one, I guess. Uh, we're seeing two resolutions? Yes. Two of the four? There's a 48 uh, pixel strip. Okay. That's high resolution. Can you get that cat off the keyboard? He's typing already. Oh, no. Are you have messages for people? Is that okay, him? Well, if you're going to send it... <laughs> And you gotta send it, buddy. You gotta it, answer afterwards. Okay. So Sid wants to so send Sid a message. Oh, Ooh. he's just erased it. He's, yeah, he was. He has some. Can things you get him to off? Say. He's gonna press some function keys, and there it goes. How did you start a game? <laughs> How'd you do that? How'd you start? You wanted that to game? start a game. Let's start this over so it won't run out. Um, Weak. Previous videos mostly showed ICC3, 64 pixels vertical, which is chunky, but a fewer pixels, therefore quicker. More than quicker, the code is less likely to go over time to draw things. This this video shows the reworked display system, which now pre-checks available time and only draws triangles, polys, if there's enough time within a frame. It seems to work well. The game's slowing down when there's a lot on the screen or when we're in high-resolution <coughs> mode like IC1. I'm still undecided which to use, but if all the modes work fine, it could be a deferred decision. Um, so the difference between the high resolution in the center yep. and the one on the outside is that the one in the center looks impressive and the one on the outside, I have to know that it's impressive, but it doesn't look impressive. Yeah. And like it, it doesn't look like, and you're like, you're not accomplishing anything with it because I don't even know that it's 3d <laughs> except that the, the narrow one in the middle tells me, but the one in the middle is a hundred percent successful. Yeah. That's, and it's the one you're my looking at. That's my two bits. And it's it's your it's your crosshairs. And that's the thing you're already always looking at. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. last time I presented yeah, that, this. Yeah, if it, if this is what the game was, yeah. this would totally work. Yep. Yeah, because you are yeah, having the focus in the middle and you know what's going on out here. You know that it's lower resolution and why. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that totally works. Um, and he compared it to VR headset displays where, as you know, you have a VR headset display. Mm -hmm. the center of where you're viewing is higher resolution and the than new ones. when you're not looking. And the new ones, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's exactly what's going on well, here. And they do, and they they even do that for eye tracking. Like, they, tra the, they track where you're looking, and that part gets the processing, and the rest doesn't. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zeptar, oh, of course it has uh, an arm chip. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you could not do this on... Uh, bare bones 2600 without an arm chip in the cartridge um it is yeah i see he's moving across the screen mm -hmm. and he's also moving the crosshairs and where the crosshairs highlight it goes um high resolution another thing you'll notice that the background picture occasionally shifts this is a concept test for some coming uh coming work on looking around question is, is it better to re-render the entire screen, which may take seconds, or is it better to scroll the visible screen a bit than re-render the new blanked part? I suspect the latter. We shall see. I would I would say that. Um, to what? He's saying, um, because it takes time to render mm -hmm. the screen, is it better to kind of pause than render, or is it better to move immediately, have things still going, and mm -hmm. then render it the new blank part yeah, in yeah. the background. I, that almost, like, I might not understand, but that almost seems like a non-question. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, nothing happening. This on is a twenty-six hundred, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, twenty-six hundred, not C sixty-four. This is not C sixty-four. This is an Atari twenty-six hundred. Um, using the magic of um, Andrew Davy, <laughs> with the um. A co with code for the kernel from Zack Attack. So he's uh, a working in conjunction with Zack Attack on this. So, and this is a port he's working on of 
Uh, Sentinel, which is a puzzle game. Yeah, which I've not played. But anyway, absolutely amazing update. Uh, before it was a static screen, uh, where it was just one scene, but mm-hmm. now it's scrolling. Uh, he's advancing in leaps and bounds. It is absolutely insane. It's definitely insane. Yeah. Elite on 2600 with Star Raiders keypad. Ooh, a keypad would work well for scrolling around because you have the aim and you have to shoot, but you also have to scroll things, Mm. as far as I know. So you need more controls. I would go, actually, for dual joystick. But then you have to have a fire button. But you can take your hand off the moving to go to the fire. Or if you had a dual joystick with uh, fire buttons on top of the joystick, that would work even better. Um... You can do pretty much any 3D game now. He's also uh, working on Elite as, at the same time, which is a space shooter, which looks even more impressive because you're only rendering stars mm-hmm. on the sides, which don't need high resolution. They just need yeah. a dot. Just a dot. Yeah. Any resolution dot. Yep. Whatever you got handy. Whatever you got. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to play Dinoid's game, who's in the chat. We're going to be playing Tower of Rebel. These are some of my favorite platformers. So we've done shooters, arcade games. Uh, This is Platformers Part 2. In Part 1, we played Man Goes Down, Tumble Temple, Gingerbread Man, and Stay Frosty. So we're continuing on with some of my favorite. These aren't in any order. They're just some of my favorite platformers. So let's play some... Here you go. <clears throat> Tower of Rebel from 2021. Uh, oh, that's a little loud. There we go. Practice here. Do you have you played this game? It's only left and right. Oh, okay, I remember now. Only yeah. left and right. Oh no, there is up and down. There is up and down when you're getting up and down off ledges. Now, I do have the box for this. Let me get it out. If I can find it. Ah! Did you die? Did... uh, Yeah, I walked directly into a laser beam. You gotta stay away from those. They're deadly. Here's one of the games coming up. Come on, Tower. Where are you? Am I trying to get as high as possible? Or Uh, just trying to stay alive? Just trying to stay alive. Uh, The earth will crumble and lasers will come down. So you need to avoid both of those things. And if it crumbles in the spot that you're in? You will fall into the brink. Uh, But what if there's one below you? It's okay. Uh, oh, if it's going across the screen, that's fine because it'll only go down one. But if the whole column is is going down, you got to get off there. Mm-hmm. And then I have one more to get. Which one is it? Uh, I two. I have that one on the cartridge. tell these are my favorites because I have boxes for every single one of them. So. Okay, now we find... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, cross beam. Killed I need. Yeah, I needed to go further. I so there's a box for Tower of Rubble. Nice. And it is super awesome. Nope, not yet. You oh, you got more, more to say about it? Yeah. Okay. So this is actually a port from a CGA game uh, by Flatgub. And he says, how long can you survive with the lethal Tower of Rubble as it crumbled and rebuilt a, itself around you? I have a question when you're ready for questions. Okay, what's your question? I'm is ready. it the same every time? Because I uh, feel yes. like it is. It yeah. is. Okay. Yeah, so you can have a pattern, but it would be a very, very long pattern. But you can kind of memorize um, areas that you need to jump to. And, and do I need to be in the center? Do I need to be off to the left or right do any usually higher up is always preferable Mm -hmm. because 
it's much easier to fall down than it is to climb up, especially when there's two. You can't climb up two, but you can climb up one. Now, why I picked this one as one of my favorites is it's actiony platforming. And uh, I call it a platformer because there are platforms disappearing and appearing. And now you need to jump to the left island. That's why. Because you will die if you stay in that middle. Why? So turn around. Why? Well, you will find out. I will find out. And now it's coming to be too late. I believe you. you. Get over now. Get over now to the left or right. No, I'm going to die with this island. Turn around. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Turn around. No, I'm okay. going to die. Okay, you can die. Now I'm going to die. You're definitely going to die and you're not even trying. Oh, yeah, that's where I died three. last time. That's literally <laughs> where, that's exactly where I died last time. You have to go right or left eventually. I told him. I, told I know, him. but you didn't tell me why. And it is pointless <laughs> for me to survive if I don't understand why. I still don't know why. Why is the center definitely doomed? Because it slowly destroys itself and the sides build up and then does it over and over and over again. Okay. Exact same spot. It was the exact same spot, yeah. yeah. I don't even <laughs> think there was any delay. So, I think it was like the exact same moment too. One of the moves, I'll show you, Darcy. Yeah. Is you, oh, I can't do it there. You turn around, press down, mm -hmm. and you can, um, and then you can jump. Hang. I'm gonna die. Playing around here. You can hang and then jump over a, a gap. Oh, okay. And show me how to jump. Uh, well, you just press. You just press over. Once you're like hanging? That. And you can jump over a two But well, you have to first hang. Yeah, you have to first hang. That's because your otherwise jumping you, oh, position. Uh-oh. Oh, you're going to be fine. Yep. <laughs> and he grabs on again. Okay, so now what do you do? Oh, no. Tell me. Oh, it's too late. Well, I, I don't want to go over yet because there's not enough over I there. wanted to see you go from one hang to the other hang. Oh, yeah. No, you'll eventually see No opportunities. See it. Are, uh, you'll see it now. There. Oh, so you don't got... The, the ground is not lava. Uh, your feet can dip into the lava, apparently. <laughs> and it's fine. You have you have special boots. You have super boots on. Super duper boots. Stress is asking if there is a random... Uh, uh, I don't have notes of that. Uh, I, there is there is a random version of this, and you can get to it from the main menu. But this this um, this one we picked for single player is not not random. If I am remembering correctly from a couple of years back, there you go. So you confirmed it. There we go. See now I'm on the side. And then I wait for the middle to build, build back up. And if I can survive a full cycle, then I can survive pretty much. There we go. That's a full cycle, I believe. Should be able to survive indefinitely. So some really cool things about this game, which is why I picked it for my favorites. The music is awesome. And the music goes in beat with the game which is super cool. The animation is unbelievably fluid. It has so many frames of animation. I believe there's 30 okay, frames of animation. Okay, can you go animation. to the left right now? So yeah. you don't touch the bottom. Uh no. So even so you don't have to do it. You can you can do it one smooth motion if there's a gap. Yes. Okay, you can just even if it was like a tall gap, you would still just like uh Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Okay. So this is the second loop around, so I can... Ooh, that's a bit dangerous. Because if you fall too, do you die? Uh, yeah, if you fall into the lava, you die. You can walk on it, but you can't fall into it. Okay. Uh, you can't walk on it, you're kind of hanging off. Oh, I see. Oh no, this is a different loop. Uh, let's go... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Should I risk it? Uh, now I'll risk it. Up, 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 up. There we go. <laughs> ah! Well, that's the uh, destroy laser, not the create laser. Yeah, that's the bad laser. You need to get out of the way of the god laser coming down to destroy you. Put a block there, please. Thank you. Oh my god. This is, this is treacherous. There's some chaos. Uh, let's get back to the center now. Ah, ah. Get up high. There we go. Actually, I'm doing decent. Mm -hmm. I 
Oh, you don't do this well. <laughs> uh, hmm, I'll stay here. Oh, oh, I want to go there. So you can hop over and get up to a second story oh. if you're on a single story, too. Ooh, this is getting a little bit sketchy here. Yeah, that's a better position. So that was a good example oh, of... Uh, uh, uh. It's only two spots. Ah, yeah. No, I pressed too long. <laughs> oh no. That's a good. That's a good one. I tested this game to see if we can score up to nine 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 nine, but I used Stella's time machine for that. And you determined that you can or you can't. What was the <laughs> What was the result of the test? Yeah, and what happened after nine 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 nine? Did it roll over to zeros? Did it crash? Did all the banking systems uh, fail? <laughs> like today? <laughs> oh, did you bring down the airlines? Was it you, Dianoid? You did it. 9999 nine, nine is max score. So now we're going to play two players. Okay, I'm going to win. Two players versus one player pro. That's the random, so we'll play that after. Uh-oh. I'm red, and I'm dead. What the hell? I didn't even pick up my joystick in your hey, head. Hey, I've got skills that you cannot even conceive of. <laughs> oh, why am I not working? Am I not plugged in at all? Or plugged into the Atari, I win! <laughs> Atari 8-bit system, which doesn't help anyone. We're going to restart. No. Because I died. What? And you died. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Head to head, and because it has a two-player game, and the graphics are super awesome. That's another reason. It is one of my favorite platformers. And all the games we're playing today are. Oh my god! Uh, oh, I couldn't. Victory! All the games we're playing today are available in the Atari Age Store. Oh. Victory! Jumped right into that. Darcy dominating. Dominating. I don't know. Do you get to call it dominating when you just happen to be doing Two better? Zero. Yeah. Ah! To... Oof. He walked right into it. Yeah, he goes, I didn't Yay! want you to. I didn't want you to Yay! feel bad anymore. You were feeling bad. Nine and nine's max score. So it doesn't go past 999. It just sits on 999. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. And the lava at the bottom is awesome. And I believe some of this carried over to Load Runner. Like some of the innovations he came up with, or the graphics, or, oh, or the way he constructed this. I feel like I reacted quite quickly to a laser beam appearing to where I was, <laughs> and it killed me. You have to be very quick. But I... The problem is turning around or your mid-motion and then oh. correcting for the mid-motion. That's the danger. So if you're going to move... That's a lot of lasers on my side all at once. <laughs> this feels like this is not identical. No. This okay, is so this is random. random. Okay, cool. If you're going to move, like. move at a certain time so that you're not walking into a laser because turning around is is challenging and time consuming. I'm up here now. Oh, we block each other. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, well, you shall not pass. I mean, we're both in that position right now. That is true. And you can't push each other. I could technically... Oh. Yeah! Boo. So you can do a versus and kind of block each other. I could just keep pushing you over and over and over and then you have nowhere to go. Yep. Evil. What? That's the name of the game. It's the versus. The name of the game is not evil, I don't think. I no? Think it is. Oh. Tower of Rubble. Tower of Rubble. Ah. I'm gonna try that tactic this time. See how well it goes. Squish! I mean, Zap. your tactic didn't work. I, uh... Yeah, the music is very good. Yep, and synchronized with the game timing, which is like... Every, uh, kick drum. 
is a new piece falling down, which is super, super cool. And it helps with the gameplay, too. Because you know, oh, that's when it's going to hit. That's when it's going to hit. No. Oh, I got a point. What is this play till? Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> nine, nine, nine points. Nine, nine, nine points. Yeah. The That's first a long of game. fatigue. First to, first to throw their controller across the room is the loser. <laughs> yeah, the thing about the strategy you're talking about is that um, it's not something you can control for. Uh, because oh, I never, that was I, I have nowhere to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you were stuck. Oh, there um, it is to five. So, uh, doing... I had nowhere to, I, I had no control over whether or not I climbed that tower. I couldn't have. I would have if I could have. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cool. I have. I hate cobalt with a passion, but somehow it's still useful. Oh, they're talking about the crash. Yeah. Oh my God! What a start! Look at that! I died immediately. Because the, the the zapper came down and I had to climb out of it and it took too long. That's ah. the consequence of random, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No. And it starts on hard mode. Like uh, all the things are happening immediately. All the lasers, all the zappers, and you could be stranded on an island. Ah, no. Ah. What are they saying about the? computer crash. Has it affected anyone that's watching? Were you taking a flight? Somebody you know was taking a flight? Uh, what else was it affecting? You're dead. Uh, hospitals? No, not. Fine. Uh, it will be. Uh, oh, oh, would my you God. have been dead if you had fallen? <gasps> oh. As long as you don't land on lava, you can fall as far as you want? Yeah. Like, okay. Like, I can Okay. go down there, even if it was one lower. Oh, uh -oh. my God. Now you gotta hang. Oh, I should have landed. Oh. Yep. That's a valid way to avoid things, is uh, a laser. Like that! There we go. Oh. Do, do, do. Like the climbing animation. Oh my god. Oh, no, I can go up there. Just barely. Random is hard. That's a piece of information that I didn't have. Oh. Um, that you only... Because I, I avoided being over top of a raw red laser. Ah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's fine. As long as the laser's just not cool. touching you. I, I like cool. that you can fall and it's just don't fall in the lava and don't get directly hit with lasers of any yep. type. The mechanics of this game are so good and so versatile. Oh, my God. Oh, quick. There we go. Random's good because you know that you could put yourself into a bad position. You're in a bad position now. Uh, yeah, this one is a bit more versatile over here. I have two spots to go to. Ooh. Let's go Ooh, here. Now we're good. Not for much longer. This little island is... Uh, hmm, I'm going to hop over to there. <gasps> no bad timing! Okay, you do one. Then we'll move on. We went on strike at the university when, oh! they, <laughs> when they wanted to force us into COBOL. <laughs> yes, some of our point of sale credit card processing was affected. Ah, point of sale, officially <laughs> an accurate acronym. Yes, P-O-S. Uh -oh. oh, you're in a pit. Oh, oh, boy. oh my God. There was three, <laughs> three <laughs> die lasers. Okay. Okay. Uh, next game? Yeah, next game. Uh, Oh my god, this is a super awesome game. It's really good, yeah, yeah. And the randomization gives it playability, like yep. repeat playability. Oh, for sure. And the two-player as well. Huge repeat playability. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is... D -d 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 Blinky Goes Up. Um, this is from 2012, quite a bit older, by Jan uh, Hermans. Uh, it's a 4K game. Last one was, I believe, 32? No, 8. Fit all this into 8K. Um, 
And this one is also available in the Atari Age store. Let's switch back to the big screen. There we go. Hold it straight. Blinky goes up. I have won this game. I completed it. It was very challenging. Here we go. I have the power! So now Darcy has to... Uh, yes, we do. Now Darcy has to fin uh, complete the game. Yeah. It's challenging. It's we really don't... Fun. There's not enough time in the universe. <laughs> the heat death will... The heat death will arrive first. Yep. So you can jump, and you can jump in midair, uh, change directions in midair. Um, after, after the you scroll up, uh, the bottom gets eaten by the void, and you die in the void. And you die by those guys too. Mm, but they look like friends. Why friend shape if not friend? <laughs> because they are not friends. Avoid the ground is its uh, whoop, catchphrase. One day, Blinky finds himself at the bottom of a dark dungeon, and there's only way, one way out. Up! And you got to get those dots. Well, you don't have to get them, but it's recommended because you get free lives. Oh. oh, my. I don't know if I was doing... If I was... Yeah, I, I must have been failing to jump good enough, because obviously this is, that's the same height as this one. Yes. Yeah, Dionoid does write bangers. I am very looking forward to what he comes oh, up with. Oh, and the further you jump, the higher you can jump. Yes. Uh, the faster you run, uh, the okay. longer your hang time. So if you back up, you can jump... Whoa! Jump further. Into the pit! I didn't run far enough, I guess. Yep. Because you gain momentum as you... You gain upward momentum. Uh, I don't think so. What? I don't think you get any higher than what you're jumping now. You just get more hang time. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you go further because you have more momentum, but you don't get you don't go higher oh, for okay. running faster. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Blinky goes up as original platform game for the Atari 2600 by Jan Hermans. Your goal is to ascend through each level in the vertically scrolling platformer, collecting every gold nugget along the way. You receive an extra life for every four gold nuggets you collect. And you may need them, as there are villains working to block your path. Tubi. Uh, I'd be guessing that's Tubi. And the animation in this is astounding as well. A gorgeous multi-frame animation. Because usually on um, very simple 2600 games, you'll have like two frames. Compound manners, if you fall or jump from a platform and don't land on the other, you'll lose a life. There are two techniques you can use to increase the odds of your escape. The faster you run, the longer your jumps. In the second, there are packages where you need to perform an air walk. Just run over the edge of any platform and press fire while Blinky is falling and he'll perform a jump then. Oh, I see. I don't think I ever used that when I completed the game. The fire button? Huh, interesting. Oh, when you're falling, you can do a little jump. This one, you can run right across it, I believe. It with momentum, not walk across it, run across it. Oh, Thanks. Ah, into the pit. Here. <laughs> you're done? <laughs> oh, no, I've got one more life. Oh, the game sound, I have to turn it down. If it's too loud in the studio, you will get the second version of it, because we have... The 2600 hooked up directly. All right, now it's your turn. Yes. <laughs> 2600 sound directly piped in, but then we also have to hear it, and it's coming through the microphone, so that creates an echo. Now I can't hear it at all. Oh, I can hear it a little bit. Yay. I'm going to turn up a little bit. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah, I say. It's a nugget of gold. 
You can tell from the color. <laughs> I think you can walk across these, yeah. With momentum. With momentum. With the appropriate uh, momentum. This is the thing that kills me every time. And you don't actually have to get it, so I will be not getting it. Oh, that's... It's just such tight timing. Okay. Our oh, no. sound is out of sync now. Oh, it is? Yes. For the video game? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's our voices. Uh, oh, I will fix both. <laughs> I don't, that's not helping anybody. But uh, you, actually, dear viewer, can tell whether or not we are... <laughs> how out of sync we are, I guess. There we go. You want me to keep doing it? No, <laughs> we're good. I've reset both the computer and us. Or did I just turn us off? There we go. This is also very hard. Ah! <laughs> Oof. Okay, so that, you just it completely nullified the threat. I did. By jumping high <laughs> it enough. It was pointless. <laughs> Oof. If I recall correctly, you this died is... many times trying to get that gold coin. Yes. Oh god. This is hard. Uh, what do I do it? At the bottom? Nope. <laughs> Boo! I think I need an extra life now. Ah. Oh my god, I got it. Are we in sync now? Are we the boy band from the 90s? Okay. <laughs> in sync. No, it's just uh, nowadays. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I guess Sid was watching me clap. <laughs> <laughs> was he? He's like, am I a bad cat? Why are you making that uh, sound? Oh, that's a huge jump. You can just jump over it. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with the next ones is there's not enough space above them for you to do the super jump above them. Yes. I think you might even go under them Ooh, by I using think... the walk. We're here. Momentum Party walk. time for kittens. Party time. Cats. 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 Party time. Cats. Cats, cats, cats. Cut, 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 Here's the thing for one of them, and put the lid, stuff in the lid for the other. Is that enough for one? Oh, that's more than enough. Way lots. Way lots. There you go, little kittens. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, kittens. Thank you to Gamma Dev for that. It's oh, I got it. No, I fell. I cleared it, but I fell. I know. This one seems immune to the uh, alluring effects of catnip. I put right in his no, nose. He's not. like, too tired. Oh, too tired for catnip. Well, that could be the case, but he does like catnip. I'm going to sprinkle some on his face. <laughs> Drug pusher. <laughs> It is a bit like that. It do be a bit like that. <laughs> it do be like that. Ah! No! Oh, James. You let me down. You're supposed to be the perfect one that can do all the crazy stuff. Refer to my older video, please. <laughs> it's a hard, hard, precise jumping game. Look at this. Get these drugs. You don't want those? Look Get those them. drugs. He's like, no, I'm too mature. I am too mature for drugs. Stop that other one from doing them. Atari's like, well, if you don't want the drugs. I will take your drugs. I will take these drugs. It'll make me easier to exist in a world with you in it! <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. If Atari likes it, it must be good stuff. Oh, uh, yes. That that will get um, that will get Sid going, no problem. It's like, oh, you, you're eating them? It's I a sign of it respect. <laughs> no, for sure. I think it's a sign of... It's like... It's like he likes Atari. He's not oh, yeah. like, like he's like, oh, it's like Big Brother is cool. I, I think I do Big Brother stuff because Big Brother is cool. Okay, like the thing is in my way. Interesting. <gasps> yeah, you have to touch that. You can't just go through the... Uh, per pressure. <laughs> per pressure. Per that's pressure, a new that's one. That's a good one. Oh, 
Oh my. Yeah, it gets harder and harder and harder. I mean, that's that's a that's new for a game. Uh, getting harder every time. Yeah. It is. It's a unique element to this game. Of course, the gray this on the black one. is not helping with the reflection. This is the one uh, where your momentum walk can work against you. Yes. It's bad news. <gasps> no! Ah, Damn it! Momentum walk burns! Damn it. Getting oh, that don't one at go the is so hard. You have to, like... Not is it jump. does the does the screen reset when you okay it resets before you land uh it's not like it resets when you land it resets like when you're high enough to reset it or to you, move it when I mean. you jump i'm saying reset but what i mean is move yeah when you jump Adjust it. the higher you go that's when it pushes up sid was watching the game Oh, oh, is he? Yeah. That's what Thrust says. He, I missed it. Yeah, luckily he didn't attack it. Oh, my God, this part's so hard. Okay, there we go. As Blinky <laughs> goes up. I did okay, not great. Not great. Uh, the next game we're going to be playing of my favorites of today, Stay Frosty 2. Is that the one we're going to play? Yes. Stay Frosty 2, 2014, not 2104, like I posted accidentally, typing too fast, uh, by Daryl Spice Jr. Spiceware. If you want to load that up, and here it is, a Stay Frosty 2. It was also released on cartridge for a um, Christmas cart one year. Oh, we have to... I didn't, didn't miss much. There you go. Oh, oh, this should have... Oh, yeah. By the way, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, if at all possible... Um, I don't know what I'm Actually, we don't need a second button. It's oh. used very seldomly. So you have to melt all the bad guys. Double jump. Oh, okay. Now you have double jump because you got the... Because I got the firm. Yeah. So, am I supposed to uh, touch the fire? Yes. So you oh. touch the fire to kill the fire, and that's your main objective. And you touch the um, ice blocks to regain frosty health. Oh, too late. The second jump was two... I can't remember when is the last second you could... Do the double jump, but you are in the right track. No, damn it! So this is also available in the Atari Age Store. It's a 32k game. Um, last time I played it, I got to level 15, so I'm gonna give it a good try to make it past level 15. I find this game so hard. S Ramirez can just destroy in this game. Yeah, I, I guess I uh, oh. did it too late. Yeah. Oh, Gamadev says, it almost looked like he was staring into the camera like the catnip made him paranoid. Uh -huh. There you go. There must be a, a low point in the arc. I think it's if you're lower than when you started jumping, you can't press the second one. Oh. Those so are firebirds. You don't touch them. The animation on the firebirds are astounding. Oh, when you're already full. Oh, okay. There's no point. Yeah, you're just wasting them. Or there are points, them. but no point. You're wasting them. You want to get up to the top and kill those four. There's I don't no have a jump jump? No. Pretty much the double jump is only one level. I think oh. it comes later as well, but it's not every time. Now, why I like this game, amazing graphics, amazing music. Super, super challenging levels. Very diverse types of levels and like moving platforms. And now I've got to get these douche nozzles somehow. Yep, up and around. There we go. Oh, douche nozzles defeated. Oh, well, get low. I get some ice. It's 
Success! You are reborn. No, don't eat all the ice before getting that guy. And uh, moving platforms, you can jump on those. Why does it sometimes give me a number on the side of the That's level. So it alternates between score and level. Okay. Just because it's, uh, it can only do so many things uh, on a line on the 2600, because there's only so many. Look at those guys doing the moonwalk, going backwards. Now they're forwards. That's they funny. Are. <laughs> That's really funny. Come on over, flamey flames. How do I tell if I'm full? I uh, full yet? You won't have a draggy tail. You're not full yet. Not full yet. Not full yet. Now no. you're full. And sticks will move um, closed areas. So you want to touch the stick and then go get the dude. And then immediately leave because you're getting low. Oh, do you get lower even without touching them? Yes. And as the game goes on, the moon goes away, and the sun comes out, and you start to melt at a very rapid pace. A lot of levels are a race against... You have to get that carrot. Or what? Uh, you won't be able to finish this level. The carrot gives you snowball abilities. Hmm. And I'll tell you how to do it when the time comes. Oh, there. So jump up and press up. Don't, don't throw it that way. Face the other direction, jump up and throw your snow. No, jump up. There you go. Well, you said jump up, and I pressed up. Oh, yeah, so Because uh, that's part of jumping, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So this says invisible platforms. Oh, Hooray! Yay. If I understand correctly, that is my the friend James hates that. I hate it so much. You can touch the coal bucket, they all appear, but as soon as you touch those fireball dudes. It disappears again, so you might as well not. Oh no, the coal, does the coal bucket restore all the fire guys? Does it restore all the ice? Oh no, it shows. That's what I thought. That was my first thought. So as soon as you touch the fire guys, it will um, get rid of the platforms. So memorize it before you touch that guy. How, what you need to do to get over to the other one. We I mean, have to go up here. I'm not getting the present. No, don't bother. What? Oh, yeah, and the coal gives them superpowers for a second. That's I could have gone up to get the present. But. Yeah, you could have. Level six. Oh, look at these exhausted cats. Poor fluffy cats. They are prob. Oh no! Look how exhausted they are. Oh, what happened? Oh, yep. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Though that is death. So. Turns out that that red one is uh. Pretty hot. Not just a color. Pretty fiery. So you want to get up to the top of quickly as possible. There you go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Don't do that! No! Too early! It restores all the, um... Yeah! I sort of figured. And the pipe gives you, uh, invincibility. So go, go, go. Go, oh. go, go. Around. There it is. Oh, no, it doesn't. Not invincibility. I forget what it does. It does something... <laughs> We don't know dude. what. It guarantees that you will lose the game. We definitely need some ice. I don't think there's any real chance that I will survive. But hey, who doesn't want to see this dumb Darcy snowman head <laughs> eventually fail pass away to jump? <laughs> here we go. Uh, here we go. In. And, uh, oh, it was immediate. Yeah, there you go. Not couch compliant. It was made before couch compliancy was a thing. Oh, I, 
I mean, it's. It, I guess they're sleepy they're after good. their drug. Uh, drug binge. Drug binge. Oh yeah, they're sleepy cats. I mean, uh, Atari must be chill right now to allow um, Sid to be snuggling so close. Are you touching me? Yeah, it's pretty rare. God, that was terrible. Is time a uh, part of your score? Uh, time, no. In a sense, is it? No, I don't think so. In a sense that you're melting, it's a problem. Get a stick. Uh, it's a yeah. divining rod. It is. And it divines the way through that uh, space. Yum, 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 yum. No, carrot. So there's no lives in this, right? Yep, there are. You can see at the bottom there's two lives. Oh, I see. Yep. You had flashes on there. Ice cubes melt. Yes, I just saw that. So they give you less. And they are worth a little bit of money. Points. Yeah. So time does come into a factor there too. Yeah. And if you uh, smush these guys, what's back the other way? Uh, where you go, boom. That's kind of handy. <laughs> that you can see where the wump is. Oh no! But you can do the coal bucket again. So you can go from there. Okay. So slippery. Here's a snowman. Hooray! It's just points. But if you're going for points. Oh, that red line is Bernie. Bernie red line, Bernie. not. Bernie, the video game character. Oh, you didn't even take oh any melting. God. You can jump on that red line without melting at all. Uh, if you do it really quick. You did it really quick. <laughs> yeah. What do you get out of the um, pipe? It turns you blue, I but... I can't remember. But, um, blue, but not immune. And the thing in, in this is you have to be a certain height. Oh, maybe it doesn't melt you. You would get immunity from melting. Like, but not on the red thing. But not on anything else, just from the sun. Just from oh, the, and it's melt. disappearing now. Come on, uh, melt just a tiny bit more. Hurry up. Oh, melt. melt a bit. Melt. I mean, I know where you can melt it. I don't want to melt that way. Melt. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I might melt too much there if I go up there. Oh, forget it. I think you just melted. I think, you, I think you just, yeah, I think oh, you just, no. because I saw your button. Oh, goodness, Ooh, you're, God. you're in trouble now. I am in very trouble. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Make it? Oh my god, I just made it. Um, this guy. Yeah, I'll get one. Get another one here. Yeah, you might want to get some ice cubes and stop saving them for a future time when you need ice cubes. You 
future that gives right now. The future is now. The future is now, and the the uh, snowflake is already there. Is that how you were supposed to go? Yep, it's a bonus level. And if you don't fall there, do you not get the bonus level? Oh, I see, it's a bonus, uh, bonus melty presents. red. But you can die on the bonus level. Which, which is fine. I don't awesome. consider a bonus level if you can die in it. It's just a level at that point. Okay, so you're using a very specific definition of bonus. Yes, my definition. And it might no! not just be your definition. Oh, this level. Kills me every time. No! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh, the f the gas canisters. Oh. What I want to do is go get those gas canisters and touch all of them. I believe because they restore the batteries. And then I need to go get the batteries. This game. I thought there was a continue. Oh, the sun came up too. There it is. Yep, sun. So now it's melting. That's a good start. <laughs> oh man. No, don't. Don't do that. Don't I? Get the ice. Why? I need it. But you were less than full. True. Yes, so I guess that's okay. It doesn't give you. Does it's it give you more if you're not? If you're more or less full, or is it giving no, you the same amount? No, actually, it's better to get it early in this because it melts. Well, that's okay. I can do it on this side. I need to get that guy anyway. one again. I think I just have to run to the right. Oh, there it is. Carrots! Yeah, look at this level. So cool! Oh my god! They're attackies! Oh, and they take my... Oh my god. Yeah, you... You you just took a lot of ice cubes and uh, didn't get much for them. Sun. Unfortunately, my body creates. Oh, I don't even have enough to throw a snowball. I still don't have enough to throw a snowball. That seems. That seems like perhaps. Oh, maybe you oh, have to get the carrot again. Because I got touched. Touched by. Oh, this level. Kicks my ass. I didn't look. Do you not have a carrot nose before? Yeah, you don't have a carrot nose before you pick up the carrot. No. Okay, I'm just gonna die. Okay. No, don't die. Don't choose to die. <laughs> I didn't choose to die. <laughs> Arcade Gyrus has awesome bonus levels. Oh, I love Gyrus. One of my favorite games. Especially the arcade. The music of Gyrus is so good. This channel deserves more viewers. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Not too many. Not like a bunch of randos that start trouble. Start trouble, but don't finish it. That's right. They start and then they take off. Oh my god, look how... Maybe I shouldn't get those guys. But I have to get them eventually. Okay. Can you throw a snowball now? 
Oh, I have to double jump to throw it that way. Oh, my God. That's me. That isn't. This level takes me out of And I've, I'm like a, a tiny little... You can send with a snowball, and it gives you just enough time to uh, jump and not have any snow left for a snowball. <laughs> oh, Maybe you don't kill these guys. That's what I was just at thinking. all. And then come back for them. I guess I don't know. But you don't that, want I don't to know how that back. helps you. You gotta get rid of them. I don't think I can come back actually. Yeah, I don't know how you would. <gasps> no, we can. Do it. No, we can't. I have to get the carrot. Damn it! Go back up there. Uh. Yeah, the snowballs deplete you for sure. Yeah, which makes perfect sense. Can you? Oh, so close. What? So far. Oh, they only charge you if they're facing you. No, they charge me if I'm, I have a carrot. I think. Oh, the they love carrots. They steal my carrot. This is where I die. I, I'm, I can't do it. You know, there's just not enough. I just throw some. Can you throw a snowball into the void? <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs deplete you as well. Yes. It's like attacking people with hunks, hunks of your own flesh. Yeah. Die by flesh. Come on, wakey wakey. One continue left. I made it to level 15 last time. This will not be happening this time. There's so many levels too. Come on. Oh, I don't have the broom. No wonder I'm not jumping twice. I'm like double jumping, but it's not working. <laughs> I think you need to get all those ice cubes before you grab the carrot. Ah, uh, yes! Tactics. Tactics. That's how you do it. And full and ice cubes. Then, and then those mean birds won't chase you. Not no! that! No! Oh, well. That's not what I want. got to somehow get up there. Oh, you can go back. Yeah, this is not working. Yeah, guess what That's you have, what to, do have to do is that. Fire one, Oof. get to the next one, fire in the other one. Yeah. yeah. Just being not tactical. It's so hard. Does it look hard or does it look like I'm a fool? It's hard. It looks hard. It's one of those things where, like, this one is your Achilles heel. It, this level is. Yeah. Noodle. And, like, like, there's every likelihood that the next level is 
isn't, it was, of course, the assumption is that it would be even harder, but often what happens is you get to a tough level and it's tough for you. But then you get a But it's not, it's not objectively tough from the level design perspective, I guess. It's not. There, you just stand and wait. You're jumping twice, but you when you get to the edge, you only jump once. I have to get one more guy. Oh. Oh, my oh. Gosh. oh my god. Oh, there's some big hurdies. And a, and a finger. So go get the big hurdies. Get them. Okay. Uh, still, it still melts me. Maybe not as much. I would say it's definitely not melting you as much. That like you're at, restores you're... all the ice, I believe. Hmm. Why do they have a different thing to do the same? I'm not sure. I don't know if I should have. Uh, oh, I think it's right because uh, you. Oh. oh no! It fills you up. Ah, I see. It's like a big tub. That's the thing that fills up. Get him. Get him all your blue. Get all your blue. You need that to shoot that guy. Yeah. Maybe I can get him from here. Yeah. Hooray! Oh, don't do that. My flesh. Oh, there's like nothing there. They're melted. Oh no. Oh, Jump no. up there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 I need to go back to that pool. Get out of the way. No. Go back. You have to go up there now. At least I'm not melting super, super quick. Which way is it? Uh, that's right. Don't fire. You can use a Genesis controller, and the other button will be the fire button. Uh, oh, what happened? Jump up. There's a guy there. Just gotta, I'm not sure he wasn't there before. Quick. quick. Yeah, he was probably there before. Okay. Timing. Squish. You can go down there. Might as well. It's exactly the same. Yeah. I'm just gonna gather some resources here. Perfect. Hello. Just in case. I'll take that. That's worth points. If nothing else, I'm I am out of there! See what I mean? Like that one you did on your first go. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, like the other one had like a specific challenge that was challenging but after i figured it out it was like oh, okay that's how you do it. yeah push that's it. how you do it and then also you still had to do battle because it was still hard that's what i mean yes. like it was like a specific hard thing as opposed to like oh, so i don't know what it is it's just that sometimes the the hard level is impossible and sometimes it's just hard yes okay do i have any more continues i don't think so i think i had one last time so it should be zero this time no nope. level 11 still good uh, you can still like a game mm -hmm. even though you're not an expert at it or even terrible at it you can still love a game it's funny that that's a discovery for you it's not i read it the other day oh <laughs> and i was just repeating it but the, <laughs> look at the title screen graphics as opposed to something i just gorgeous. have to accept <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a demo in it too absolutely stunning. this game is a masterpiece absolute masterpiece and can you believe it was given away um, as part of a multi-cart hol holiday cart mm. one year? Um, okay, so we're on to our last game today of our platformer favorites. It is Hunchy 2 by Chris Walton, CD-W. And the temperature is 28.5 in here. 
for a uh, yep it's warm warmness update it's definitely too warm for extended I'm gonna go to the valve yep that was the demo so you got to get all the bells avoid the bullets and that's about it avoid the baddies get the bells and this is available in the Atari Age store. Cartridge only, I believe. Esmeralda says they have that holiday cart. Very awesome. Ah, oof. I have it on the holiday cart as well, I believe. Where is it? Stella's Stocking, I think it was part of. Or is it part of... I finished oh. the first level. Here it is. Frosty 2, Holiday Greetings. Mine is number 157, Holiday Greetings 2014. So I have two versions of it. One that works in my system and one that doesn't. I think the Holiday Cart does not work in my system. No, the Holiday Cart... Oh, you got hit by the bullets. The All bullets! Right. Now what I love about this game is it reminds me a lot of Jumpman, or Jumpman Jr. Oh my. It's very, very, very similar, and that's one of my favorite games. Hunchy is a fun platformer. It is. And the maneuverability in this game is huge. You can jump, change directions in midair, grab an, uh, a ladder in midair. Um, it's just really fast movement uh, once you get... Uh, skilled at it you can just move all over the place and it feels very open and quick yep. you just go doop, 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 I, doop. I, I also was noticing that yeah i was uh delightfully uh, surprised so don't touch those guys and they also spear you I, maybe they don't spear you yet not this level but other levels they spear you ow i mean my Keep hand li my hand literally slipped off the whole controller <laughs> at the worst time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the level design in this game... Ah, see, I, I did it again. I'm not saying it's anyone's fault but my own. I'm just saying that, just <laughs> so you know, when I fell there, it was a big fail of the hand. Oh, your copy's 175? What did I say mine was? I think it was close to that number, wasn't it? No. Uh, I'm 157. guessing it's within 175 of it. It was. Mine was 157. Switch the uh, numbers. Uh, so, yeah. so that is close. And it, from oh, a geez. different... That? From a different... That's the demo you said. Oh, yeah. I think it's just the opening screen. But the demo starts when you press the button. It's so weird. I don't know if it's a demo, though. It's like... It's the thing that... It's like the first screen. Oh, it's and the And you get intro. the bell and you complete it. It's yeah. the intro. That's why. See, the maneuverability is... It, yeah, yeah. Like, at first it seemed... At first it seemed very... Uh, slow moving, and then I was like, "Oh no, it's not at all." No, it's like you can. It's a precipice zip of around. going yeah. too fast. Because there's good in moving fast, but there's also bad in moving fast. You can yeah. get a little out of control. I oh, have to go right up to them. I have to get. I That's where I died. Jiren slipped. I know, but he you says, were like, you were like. I don't. I don't consider my hand slipping on the joystick to be like the, a sign that I'm good, but that I was screwed by the universe. I'm like, no, like my, literally, I'm so bad that my hand oh. slipped off the joystick. <laughs> oh, what I need to do is. Oh, there's two of them. Damn it! Trigger them down here. Yeah. And then go for it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, I feel like it won't do it while you're on the ladder. That's not where I want it. Maybe you might be right. Is that an alarm? I thought it was a crow at first. I'm gonna. Is it gonna kill me? It's gonna kill me, right? I don't know. Jeez. The answer is it didn't. Yes, I know. Uh. There you can do it. Zip the other way. There you go. Zip down there and zip it do da. Zip it up. Zip it up. Zip zip do da. Oh, you can jump for ladders too. I, I forgot mm -hmm. that. But it's a little, a little weird. The jumping for ladders it gets a little 
Like the movement is sketchy. <laughs> it's a sketchy a movement. Uh... There we go. Huh. Uh, oh yeah, this is a there's a pattern you have to do. Um how do I get that other one? It's way on the other side. And then I can fall down here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dip, 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 dip. Can't go there, that don't work. Oh, well how do I how do I There's no way you can't get it. Big... Oh, there it is. It's oh ladder. ladder, there we go. Ooh. So it's what I know about you can't get it. Oh god. Yeah, it's very dangerous near the edge of the screen. But on this level, the right edge. Not the correct edge, the right edge. Ha ha ha. That old English joke doesn't work in other languages. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, get the right one first, otherwise I have to go all the way around. I don't want to do that. Yay! Should have looked up what level. SSS. Is. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh my goodness. There's some school out there with the initials SSS. Something secondary school. Mm. I don't know what it is, but ours was MSS. Oh, There's God. MSS and LSS and BSS. So B what was BSS? And PSS. What were those? LSS, Langley Secondary School. Yeah. Uh, BSS, Brook Brookswood Secondary. Ah, P yes. PSS, Poppy Secondary. Poppy. I assume it's PSS, because all the <laughs> other never, ones were secondary I've schools. I've never so. heard it referred to as that, but it must be. Right? But yeah, people just said Poppy. Yeah. Because PSS sounds a bit like something else. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I wasn't even watching. Damn it. I was like... Do you have infinite lives now? I was like, oh, he's going to jump it. I look forward to watching James jump that. That's what and it didn't thinking. happen. The yeah, jumping happen. never came. And I was like, what is this? What the smeg is going on here? What in the smeg? Uh, should I go low? I think I should go low. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no, I should not. That's too... It hit my head. Whoa! Now they're coming from multiple sides. It's unfair. This is actually easier. I don't have to cross. Go across them. Assuming that you don't get bulleted. There's a very good chance of getting bulleted. It's been a while. It'd be cool to see another holiday card developed. I would love to see that. Oh, this guy chases you? Oh, that was close. Oh, God. Oh, no. You need to fall down here. Uh, oh. Ah. 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 Okay. There's a way out. Ah. Ah, no. <laughs> Two bullets. Game over. No. Oh, watch the intro. Oh, you can run around. Yeah. I'll chase you. And she follows you. She can get points for that one. Okay, I'm gonna play one more. Because that was sad and pathetic. And I died in places where I should not have died. <sighs> um So Darcy stays over sometimes. He stayed over the last night and the cats are loose. When you stay over, how how was this uh, little Sid? Oh, great! Yeah, he. Uh, well, it's the same thing all the cats do, which is that they don't really try to wake you up. But if you are awake, they're like, "I can tell that you're awake. Let's play." <laughs> okay, that's good. And it's very cute, and like because it's warm, I was awake more than I would have otherwise. Right. Um, but he was just crashed out on the bed, like right, like. Where he could get squished by a knee, or <laughs> he did not care. Oh, squish cat! <laughs> he did not care. He is no. a fearless action cat. He is action cat. He does not think before he does, and he does a lot. Very he jumps. What the like? Very early on, when we first got him, he was on the table, uh, the table upstairs, and there's a chair pushed in on the table, um, and he. He runs at you, mm -hmm. right? And what he did... Oh, my God, this again. <laughs> I just have to, like, go up here. Can you jump bullets? I feel like you can jump bullets on the top row. I can, but eh, I don't really want to. I know. He was on the table. I was standing near the table. He darted towards me, leapt off the chair, and I don't know what he was thinking. Like, I would catch him. Mm -hmm. He would jump in my arms or onto my shoulder, 
I was not prepared whatsoever. And I went, ah! And he fell to the ground. On his legs. He was fine. But I was like, what are you doing? We have never done this. We've never rehearsed this. <laughs> um, so I was like, you crazy cat. He's crazy. He never did that again. He's good crazy. Oof, yeah. No, 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 no. He is good. He's having a good crazy dream right now, doing some action. Ah. Can you guys see him twitching? You should be able to. Twitch cap. And stuff twitching. Oh. It's just so warm that they're crashed. I'm sure. Oh, there he is. He's twitching. He's, he's murdering a mouse. Get that mouse. I'm gonna be your best friend. I just so. want to put you in my mouth for <laughs> just a little bit. Come here. Why are you not playing anymore? Do not resist. Nice do not warm. resist. Do not resist the friendship. Oh. The friendship of death. Friendship is fun. He has never seen a real mouse, but I'm sure he would definitely know what to do. Because when Atari saw his first mouse, he definitely knew what to do. Yeah, he murdered it. Yeah. Well, no, I um rescued the mouse and put him outside oh but they got a good uh, amount of time with with uh, the mouse in their mouth Dying. and playing with it and batting it around and then the mouse was hiding and I had to get the mouse out how did you get a mouse in your house came in through a hole somewhere that's not okay nope and it's the one and only mouse ever to come in this house in the 11, 12 years, I couldn't move up. I should have dropped. Oh, that was much worse. One more. <laughs> Maybe you need to rally some creators to make a new All Star holiday card. Maybe I do. What? Maybe you could have some but I Christmas think, trees in addition to the stars. But I think I to be to Christmas trees. What? Sorry. Sorry. That was a dumb joke about oh, All Star. All Never stars. mind. Um, Never mind. It was dumb. I admit it. For me to do that, I think I would have to make one myself to make it like, like I, hey everyone, go do, go make some games. I'm not gonna do Why one, but you, you game guys making should make right some now. Games. Why are you all sitting around but not making a game for the holiday cards? <gasps> Ah, bullets! Oh, God. Bullets are so deadly! Um, Who knew? Which I could do, given the amount of time. It's only July. Um, I'll just reskin my game. Oh, my God. I can't see what's going on because the zero page is like right in my eyes. If people don't know, there's a massive reflection in every game we play. <laughs> it makes it very challenging. Because there's these lights in our eyes, for one. Then this reflects right in the television because it's directly opposite of the television. I'm making excuses. Are they working? Is it working? Can I see? Excuses. Uh, are you excused? <laughs> I don't know. Depends. Depends on everyone. Are you excused or merely explained? I'm I explaining. ZPH Dev Competition? I have thought of that, but I think um, a holiday card's a better idea. I don't want to organize a competition because I already do a competition of sorts. A non... Uh, a competition where nobody en enters. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Atari Homebrew Awards. Nobody enters whatsoever. I force them into it. And all their games get entered automatically. <laughs> uh, you can opt out. Yes, but, of course. Uh, but it's an opt-out. That seems like a lot of effort to uh... ask hundreds and hundreds of people. And, uh, ah! That's just the way it is sometimes. Yeah. I have to do this jump. Yeah, that's why I made it an opt-out because you can completely ignore it. It's like, oh no, my game won. Oh, it was nominated. I feel so bad. I feel so bad uh, for getting recognized for my work. Yeah, it's not that bad of a thing. So, but people, some people opt out because they don't like competitions. They don't like, like, competing. Uh, which I, I'm fine with it. 
Oh, the Jaguar plug's still in. Let's get rid of that. It gets warm. I don't think it's the most efficient plug in the world. Also, someone might lick it and get a zap. Lickers. Licker cat. Ah! Why does it do that? Every time. Because it knows I don't like it. Ah! Why don't you... I can't use a four-way joystick because you do need to do... Why don't you, angles. instead of trying to jump that blue guy... Yeah, I'm not trying to jump him. That's okay. the problem. Why don't you go up that ladder? <laughs> I was trying to do that. Oh, okay, and then go to the right. Oh, okay, my... is that what you were trying to do? Yeah. My... How did you run into the blue guy? Because I was going up and slightly enough to the left that it registered as, Hey, are you wanting to go to the left? Well, I can facilitate that. <laughs> I can help you in that situation. And it did, and I didn't actually want it. Ah. Nicely done. Thank you. It was risky, but it paid off. Oh, Stella RT. Stella RT. Stella RT. Stella RT. What was that? It's been so long I've completely forgotten about Stella RT. What is that? It's... No, I cannot remember what it is. It's been so long. It's like a year since then? Ah! Is it a... Stella RT... Down here. Oh, is that a bad spot? Well, I have to deal with it now. Nope, that's a dead, deadly zone. That's the uh, thou shalt not pass. And it's game over, so. You will not pass. You will not pass. That is the roundup of part two of my favorite platformers. They are, would you agree, they're pretty good platformers? They are pretty dang solid. Real-time console. Uh, that doesn't get me closer. It is mm -hmm. a console, and it was using Stella, and... Um, oh, no, I did not get the go for 2600 news. Is it uh, good? He posted it earlier, but oh. stuff was happening. I didn't check the news today. There is it this is. it? Yep. Something to know. Is it bad news? Oh no! Current status and it's a wall of words. Well, we're gonna look at it right now because that looks in interesting or important. Um, and we'll put it up on the screen and it discover it in real time. Because that's fun. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, current status of Go for 2600 is maintenance. This sounds very much like Stella. Because Stella is not being updated, it is maintenance mode as well. I'm um, happy to fix specific bugs people have, but I won't be adding something substantial. This may change in years to come, but I have other projects I want to focus on. Too many years been wasted on this. Not wasted. No way it's not wasted. I need to look at something else. Go for started as a way to exp of exploring Atari 2600. I had a s written a small 4K game for console and enjoyed doing so. What I didn't enjoy was cycle counting. <laughs> So for so go for 2600 was originally meant to be a cycle counter it slowly grew from that into a complete emulator that was my intention when I started but each step led me to the inevitable result during early uh, development I tried my best to keep the project well engineered uh, and I was wor learning go at the same time uh, this is my first go project I was saying the board game no obviously it's a language so some early developments choices are now incorrect and maybe even correct at the time as such, there are areas of code that are undoubtedly require refactoring. Moreover, I began adding features requests by users. This has meant this has meant that the emulator has gained a genuine utility, but to do so, I cut corners during development. Therefore, the way different parts of the project communicate with the other is not always uniform and in the way you might expect. So if I ever return the project, then a refactoring would be a good start. From a Go perspective, I think the language is fine for this sort of development. I'm unsure whether the language has an impact on the performance, which is slow when compared to Stella. It does run a little bit slower, but it's doing a lot. Um, profiling suggests that my method of TIA emulation is the bottleneck. However, my method also means the emulation could be paused and inspected during a single CPU cycle. Yeah, it's, it has so many ways to analyze your code and what's going on the screen. It is very valuable. 
This was very useful during development of the emulator itself, but whether it's useful to general 2600 developers is debatable. I'm partially pleased that I've kept the bill of materials to a minimum. The very large requirements like SDL and OpenGL are only used by the GUI version of the emulator. Although I've not made any effort to package the components separately, it's possible to use the emulator core in other contexts. Go for 2600 Utilities repository contains a couple of slightly out of date examples, including a sketch that uses the eBitten system. Not sure. On a personal level, this project was a departure from my normal way of working. I've never really released anything before this and certainly never accepted development input from anyone else. On the whole, interaction with other people has been a positive experience. That meant the project has grown far beyond the original scope. Although imperfect, I'm happy with the current state. It is not good enough for the 1.0 tag, but it's good enough for me. So it's, it's a very good emulator for developers. Uh, maybe not for general playing games on. Stella is really good for that. But for development, it is so good. You can see like the waveform of music. You can step through your code tiny bit by bit. You can see exactly what's drawing on the screen. It is amazing. Um, uh, but I guess it has gone to the extent that he wants to take it to for now. And sounds like there's some kludges that he wants to fix, but it's a whole thing to redo it, and it's a lot of work, and he wants to move on with other projects. I can understand that working on something for years. Especially when the point of working on it was to help working on things. <laughs> yes, and now it's begun to take on it's the just, life of its own. It's just how stuff is. Like, you do a thing, and like you have this goal, and then you're like, to do that, I have to do this. And you start doing this, and this becomes the goal. And this can sometimes be uh, forgotten or Stella whatever. Stella will return soon. Yay! Um, because there have been things that Stella needs to add on for advancements, like especially like um, that John Champo has implemented in his new games. Um, also, Stella doesn't run some games that run on Uno Kart too. So now Stella doesn't run certain games which is uh, and you have to run them on um, go for 2600 so now you have to splinter off and go oh what game is this what does it use what do i run it on and you have to pick and choose um so glad to hear stella will return uh with uh, some updates that's awesome um but uh yeah steve ellingworth sounds like he is going to be doing some other projects but they've not been announced so we will see what uh, happens with that. And if there's any bugs, they'll get fixed. So that's cool, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Has there any been uh, improvements in the real-time part of Stella? Like, I completely forget what Stella RT was about. It has been a while. Uh, I'll have to look that up and bring it up to date for myself. Um, so let's take a look what's coming up on the show. I don't think I've... Um, go updated too much uh hoping this weekend we can do the 7800 for the 40th anniversary classic gaming countdown a lot of the impediments have been the heat it is brutally hot and it's annoying so i would like to get to that i would also like to get some scores in on the bio peed caravan contest on the jaguar uh tony has not arrived yet i may reach out to make sure they did ship it because a lot of people have got that in the mail now. Um, but the big thing coming up is the Developer Spotlight and Lawrence Stavely uh, reboot. Um, for, uh, Cyrano J. And we will be have the exclusive world premiere of Last Strike DX. It's a reworking of Last Strike. A horizontal shooter that is so awesome. And it looks even better than before. Um, Real-time cartridge dumping. So the emulator reads the cart during emulation. Oh, yes. Okay, in conjunction, that was born from the 2600 plus. Not being able to fully communicate with the cartridge so that it can read stuff like the plus cart and harmony cart. That's right. Um, but hardware and software had to work in conjunction, so it was a lot of, a lot of work. And coming up, we also have a spotlight on Albert Uruso in September. First time ever we've had a long-form conversation with Albert. We've had him on the show many, many, many times. So we'll talk with him about Atari Age, 
and Atari and how things have been going since the transition and everything else. And we'll be doing that before PRGE. So we'll also be talking about stuff coming up at PRGE and uh, yeah. And also John Champo, uh, Secret Homebrew from Champ Games coming up, maybe in August, maybe in September. Um, and a developer spotlight on Chris Walton, whose game, Hunchy 2, we just played. Oh, nice. Um, he has a lot of absolutely stunning, amazing games he's made over the years, and it'll be awesome to talk to him. Um, and, yeah, that's it. If that's not enough for you, I don't know what I can do more. <laughs> that's so much. It was a lot of fun today, playing the games. Indeed. Ta Tower of Rebel, Blinky Goes Up, Stay Frosty 2, and... Hunchy too. Here they are. We have more cat dreams going on over there. You can get them in the Atari Age store. They are awesome. Well worth the price of admission. Um, they're really, really cool. Ah, busy with RL. RL! That's the worst game ever. Real life. Darcy's out of energy. It's blinking. Zero. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> what are you looking at? What are you looking, looking at the at the temperature? Oh, it's, it's melting there. temperature. I'm so yeah. hot. It's it it's like I know because I have these big thermostats like at home. Sweating. I told you a million times. I may have said this before. I have these big thermostats at home that have a number on them. Oh, that's the last tiny. few years. And so over the last few years, I've actually learned what temperature like what if I'm uncomfortable if I notice the temperature I can look at the wall and see exactly what temperature it is yeah and so I've learned that I can withstand up to 26 degrees <laughs> for long periods so long as it like here sitting here not doing too much I'd be okay with 26 27 yeah. right on the line I have to like eventually it'll be too hot 28 is gonna be for sure too hot over the long period and we're over 28 28.5 yeah it's been tw That's over 28 for a little while now so it's, it doesn't surprise me that like battery is blink it's just like it, i like i slow right down <laughs> i slow right down when it's it hibernating up, yeah. like uh like the cats this is this is right here is how darcy They're feels out, yeah. if he could uh go on the floor <laughs> like a yeah. cat They're, and and this one this here cat, until just right a few seconds ago, this one was crashed just, like, off screen. But he was yes. crashed over there doing the same thing. He was doing the twitchy dream thing. Just like this like this little monster here has been doing. Oh, buddy. So thanks uh, for hanging out with us today, everyone. Oh, Thrust, 22 is perfect for me. 22 is great. 22 is awesome. 22 it's is like good at, with a medium amount of activity. If I'm yep. sitting doing nothing, I now get cold if it's 22. Cold. Not like freezing, but like but like I get cool enough that like my feet will eventually be cold. I think we set the minimum temperature in the house for 21. Yeah. Is so that would be you'd be 21 like, is pretty normal. The 21, 22 are pretty normal. Yeah. But yeah, like if but also, like, I probably could com I could combat that with more clothes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's and an I, easy fix. And I'm often not doing that. You know, I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, it's and just I'm, it's just weird because it used to be anything above 21, I would consider to be, like, swelteringly hot. In this room, I don't have a minimum temperature. It's off. Because there's a computer in here that is a space heater. Yeah, and this <laughs> these, these uh, thermostats were awesome because I could go in and see they would track... Oh, um, really? Yeah, you could track. And so I could see when I was in the in my office using the computer because the, the heater would turn off. Oh, I remember you showing me those. Yeah. yeah. And you Not know in the dead of winter, but like... You don't have them anymore or they broke? Or? Uh, we have a heat pump now. And so oh. we don't use baseboards at all. Oh. And those were baseboard specific. They, the, that was the thing that made them fantastic is most smart thermostats were for things like heat pumps and... Did you what take out the baseboard heaters, or you just left them? We just in, just in case. We we either left them or took them out, depending on the situation. Right. If it's uh, in the way and it's ugly. and in my office, there's still a baseboard, but it's the the thermostat is set to not ever come on. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's still or it's work. like ten degrees or something. Yeah. You'd be if something happens and it gets to ten degrees, it will come on. And <laughs> there's keep it a 10 problem. Degrees. Yeah. 
And I would want it to turn on and keep it temperature. Oh, that's a great question. Which classic ah. console is the best space heater? Uh, the most. Or do they run particularly hot? Cons uh, modern consoles, I think, more so than older yeah. consoles, because they have. Once it gets started getting to fan territory, I think that's because they're when all passively heated, right? Passively cooled. The, yeah. The, yes. <laughs> it, did I mention it's hot? Passively temperature. His brain's melting. Passively it's, temperature. Uh, they're also passively heated. No, they're actively heated, but actively. passively cooled. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I would say once it gets into... I don't know when the first fan would be. So I would say that. Or just... The generation just before that. Before the fans. Because they're like, we're going to the edge of these CPUs, GPUs. And... Oh, next generation, they're now too hot. Now we have to put a fan on them. Yeah. And I would say they'd probably go below what that max temperature was on the ones with heat sinks. Um, so, good But question. anything with a fan on it is <gasps> going to be an improved... Gamma Dev wins. It's going to be a better space heater. Vectrex, because it has a TV on it. Sure, yeah, I, yeah. Probably that's true. I don't remember the Vectrex ever getting warm, but I don't remember ever touching the top of it. Yeah, I mean, they get warm for sure, warm. but they have enough surface area, I guess. I've never had a like air-cooled television. Like, we've been playing this for two hours, and it's like... The 2600 is like... I guess it's warmer than yeah. our other parts of it. Like, right in the middle, it's like, okay, that's a yeah. tiny, tiny bit warmer. Yeah. And the outside. Definitely when uh, cryptocurrency was all the rage and you could not get video cards, I thought they should make a baseboard heater that is a PC. And <laughs> yes. It, and, and like whether it's crypto. Actually, this is when I talked about it, but like you could plug it into a SETI and those crowdsourced uh, computer uh, yep. uh, things. Or protein and, folding. Right. And when you needed heat, it would just crank up and start processing you know whatever data and then yes. as soon as you don't need heat because i mean i mean that's it's, brilliant that's the same as a baseboard anyways. well that's it's equivalent to a baseboard but it's not as good as a heat pump that's pretty thing. much this room yeah except this i'm not doing anything with this computer um just has browser windows open yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Gamma Dev, Vitoko, Thrust, Chal Stony Mal, Mal oh, sorry, sorry. Alnifer, Before one we more go thought. That, okay. I have to mention something. Can see. Apparently, someone did do that. I did for, see something. For a, like, yeah. but, but, like, I thought this, like, before, I think it was even before cryptocurrency, because I was thinking for SETI or what have you, right? Yeah, and because of the whole thing where your PC, like, you're not really wasting the, the information you get out is either free or real cheap from the energy perspective, yeah. like in terms of it's mostly heat. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, mm -hmm. someone did do or start to do one for cryptocurrency. Anyway, I don't know much about a it. Space Carry on, heater. sorry. Yeah. What's that? Sorry. A space heater. Space heater. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Master KSI S. Ramirez. Uh, retro Gamer Spartan. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, Zeptari. Spartan. Uh, 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 uh. Carl G. Uh, uh. Mike Plateau, Trey Guy, Ivory Tower Collections, uh, Deanoid, thank you for making that game. Um, Tower of Rebel, uh, who else? Any other names in the list that talked? Rendered Ghost, Metalunar 7, and Tamerican's hangs on by one, <laughs> one, line one line at the top is the last line. Said he did that at my office PC. At the office PC, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll be back at the latest on... Oh, actually, um, hopefully Daryl is doing well. Um, he liked my comment about staying safe because he is in Houston, which I just... I got to check up on Houston power outage. I'm sure it's back by now. Because they had... A storm goes th go through there, and it knocked out like two million subscribers, and a million were still offline like five days after. When you say subscribers, do you mean they subscribe so, to having power? Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's like, oh no, they're pretty good now. Um, only uh, three thousand out, but those three thousand people have had no power for if it's the same outage. Mm -hmm. For like a week and a half now. Wow. Which is very, very bad. Yeah. 
So we're back at the latest. He has sun power. Yes, he's using his Tesla. He was sleeping in his Tesla with uh, air conditioning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And uh, back on uh, Tuesdays with Tanya uh, with some more awesome Atari gaming. And uh, I can pretty much guarantee it won't be ZX Spectrum, but you never know. Uh, I might get my multi cart by then. <laughs> and we'll be soon playing some at, at, a, at a lull. Today was a lull in in um releases so uh, every time i try and put together a show it's like oh do i have enough 2600 games or 7800 or 8 bit or whatever um and i went oh i do not have enough to make a show of new games and i've like backup shows and this is like one of the backup shows it's like best of or favorites i want to call it best of because they're not doing a rerun <laughs> it's a favorite show and uh, I, I love them too. It's fun. And maybe some people out there haven't seen these games or haven't played them in a while and get reminded. Ready for the specky filler episode. That's right. <laughs> it's still fun. It's still fun. So we'll see you on Tuesday with Tanya. See you then. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.